So lately I got a lot of questions in the comments section of my other videos. What do I think about the new Lumix G9 Mark II? And well, it's two years too late. This is the original Lumix G9 and one thing that this thing has that the new G9 Mark II doesn't have is, well, a display on top. I mean, they actually removed the display, which is something that I that I really liked, you know, because you can see the settings and you don't have to have the flip out screen flipped out or just, you know, turned around because sometimes you don't want to mess the flip out screen and it's a touch screen and you don't want to accidentally touch anything. So I typically have it like this when I'm taking photographs and I enjoy that my Sony a7 IV also has the ability to do well this. Whereas the a7 III has a kind of a fixed only tilt up display and I'm always touching it so it's always dirty. Yeah. So like the first rant at how much better the old Lumix was uh, to the new one but that's pretty much the only thing. Now I watch Casey Stern's videos at the Camera Conspiracies channel which you probably know and I think that the Lumix G9 Mark II is actually the only camera which he didn't really have any problems with and that tells a lot because if you follow him on that channel yeah he's not really friendly to any camera company and always finds the flaws and the only flaw as I remember that he found which was kind of a flaw for him but not for anybody else is that the face tracking or the or the eye tracking doesn't work with 300 frames per second it does work with 240 but not 300. Now I'm probably wrong and I misunderstood or something like this but if that's like the only issue that Casey Stern can find on a on a camera, wow. I mean, and honestly, he was also a you know, Lumix user in the beginning, just like I was with the Lumix G9 before it died. So if you guys who follow me on the channel, you probably know that my camera's dead still. I still have it. And all the lenses, by the way, all, everything from seven and a half to 300 micro four thirds millimeters, which is, well, everything that you can have. I don't know why I have those lenses. I'm not going to buy the new G9 Mark II seriously because I've switched systems. I went to a full frame system, the full frame Sony system, and now I have two Sony cameras with almost all the lenses that I need. I'm looking at the 70 to 180 Tamron, which is going to come out in a few months, I hope soon, the, the, the G2 version, which is amazing. I mean, the reviews are awesome and I'm really looking to buy this because that's the one focal length range that is still missing. And I do miss it because actually with the jobs that I'm doing now with photography, that's almost like the most usable focal length range. And it's an f2.8, so I can use it inside. Yeah, anyway, the Lumix G9 Mark II. Well, it's phase detect, you know, the first Lumix Micro Four Thirds with phase detect autofocus. And yeah, it, as far as I've seen, it works bananas. I mean, like crazy. It's amazing and if it's just as amazing as the S5 Mark II, the full frame Lumix that got the phase detect, actually the first Lumix that ever got phase detect, I mean it's actually better if I trust all the YouTube reviewers so it's on par with every camera. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's better than on the Sony a7 III, which I'm using here, which struggles with autofocus if you're using a lock picture profile. I made a video about this and you can watch it. I'll leave a link at the end. Anyway, you shouldn't be using lock picture profiles on an 8-bit camera anyway. You know, but that G9, you know, even the old one is 10-bit. 422 and the new one of course is 10 bit and Lumi I mean I had a 10 bit 422 4K camera since Sony didn't even have mirrorless cameras I think so that's how far ahead Lumix always is with the camera development. Now the G9 Mark II is definitely right there at the very top of the Micro Four Thirds cameras, even though it doesn't have a stack sensor like the OM systems, but still I mean a stack sensor on a Micro Four Thirds size sensor kind of makes no sense because the rolling shutter is minimum anyway so I don't think you really benefit from a stack sensor except that the price is high. Now considering the price the old G9 costs around a thousand bucks here a thousand euros where I live and the new G9 Mark II well I can get it for 1700 bucks because there's a 200 buck no, euro discount currently if you pre-order um, otherwise it's going to be 1900 euros which is well I mean it's the same size as the S5 Mark II so it's pretty much a full frame body with a small sensor now the cool thing about the small sensors is that well you have a lot of wiggle room and the stabilization as far as I've seen from Casey Stern's videos at Camera Conspiracies is GoPro like I mean that's the stablest stable 
non-action camera camera that is out there or that will be coming out there to your store on my store soon. Now some Lumix have done it again. I mean the best tape in the whole camera business and now with the awesome face detect and all the video features that were always there and even more you know with 4k 120 and whatnot and so much more you know that's Wow, I mean, that is just a camera to have if you want to be a videographer. Of course, you have to buy some nice lenses and I have a whole bunch that I'm still not selling. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm kind of secretly waiting for that new G9 that has come now and I will not buy it. I will not spend another, you know, 1900, 1700 bucks on yet another camera. I mean, then I would have, you know, the G9 Mark II, the G9 Mark, Mark I, which doesn't work two Sony's and the G80 or the G85. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not spending that much money, but I do have the lenses, as I said. So it's kind of a, you know. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave that down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button because that really helps YouTube and my channel to be promoted a lot more. So it does actually help if you hit the like. And well, I'll leave you with this video. If you want to stay on the channel, you know, watch this, how bad Sony focuses or whatever will be displayed here. Yeah.